back to the newlywed game. For those of you just joining us, our contestants are Kwaku and Kiri, married for seven months, Austin and Jay, married for nine months, and Becca and Daniel, married for almost one minute. Let's get started, shall we? Gentlemen, if you were a household appliance, which one would you be? Quick, it would be the stove, and the numbers on the dial represent my age, so the higher the number, the hotter I get. <laughs> You two are adorable. Austin? I would have to say that thing that toasts bread and stuff. The toaster? No, the thing that toasts bread and stuff. <laughs> well, that's right. Well done. All right, Daniel, what do you think? What household appliance would you be? Probably the KitchenAid. The KitchenAid. Bold choice. <laughs> Becca, what do we got? He said waffle iron. Waffle iron? He uh, threw at my mother. Oh. It's an inside joke. <laughs> to your mother, or...? <laughs> well, that's great, okay. We won't ask you to tell the story, but we'll just move on to the next question. What is the last secret that you had to keep as a couple? Wait. Um, well... We're pregnant with twins. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's some babies in that bunker. <laughs> that is so cute, I want to throw up in someone's mouth like a mother bird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I would have to say that I am... Oh, I just hope that our neighbors aren't watching because our secret is that we accidentally destroyed the neighbor's fence. I mean... What? No, not on. Oh. Yeah, uh, it was ugly and it had to go. No, not on. What? Not on purpose. No, I would like to clarify. We did not commit a felony. That is no. true. Only Austin did. <laughs> My producers are telling me that we need to move on. Let's go over here, Daniel. What do you think? Last secret you had to keep us a couple. My mother-in-law. <laughs> Just keeping her a secret. In <laughs> yeah. All right, Becca. What do you think? There was another one. Stole grandma's cat, then it died, so we convinced her she never had a cat. <laughs> okay, it sounds like there's a story there. Whose idea was it to lie to grandma? Oh, that was mine. Oh! <laughs> Noble of you to just jump right in there and take the blame. Um, and do you feel good about that decision? I mean, anything despite her mother. <laughs> There is a whole story for me. Let's go to our last question. Which celebra celebrity does your husband look like, ladies? Wait, what do you think Carrie will say? Well, many people have told me that I have the face of Michael B. Jordan, the body of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and the charisma of Mark Cuban of the first two seasons of Shark Tank. Very specific. And a lot of people tell you this. It's a daily occurrence. Carrie? All those things! What are the odds that these pre-written cards are that? Okay, Austin. I'd have to say, Ryan Gosling, obviously. <laughs> mean, but correct. Okay. What do you think, Daniel? What celebrity do you look like? I've been told I'm a combination of Benedict Cumberbatch and Clark Kent, which is also a daily occurrence. Oh, I see that. <laughs> Make me self-aware. All right, Becca, what do you think? Gollum! <laughs> Becca, why do you think Daniel looks like Gollum? He spikes my mother a lot, and I have to be loyal to her a little bit, uh -huh. so this is my way of getting back. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I would also encourage you to explore counseling. So, thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the show.